An incredible victory for the Ultimate Warrior there, becoming the first superstar to hold the WWE and Intercontinental Championships at the same time. A truly historic feat on the grandest stage of them all. A victory that signaled a new wave of change that was about to hit all of WWE. Rowdy Roddy Piper managed to change his luck in WWE when he captured his first championship in the company at the 1992 Royal Rumble. The wrestling world rejoiced for Hot Rod as the fiery superstar showed true emotion in the moment, revealing how much it meant to him. Once the most reviled man on the roster, he was now appreciated for his authenticity. Everyone was happy for him, except for one guy. Bret the Hitman Hart had changed his status in WWE in the spring and summer of 1991. When his legendary Hart Foundation amicably split the team, Bret would use the opportunity to springboard up the singles rankings, winning the Intercontinental Championship at SummerSlam that year. Wanting to be an active champion, Bret faced off against all comers, finding victory each time out. Until a few nights prior to the 1992 Royal Rumble, when Hart lost the Intercontinental Championship. And before he could get a rematch, Piper had swooped in and won the thing. The last thing the Hitman wanted to do was ruin Roddy Piper's moment. The two were close. Piper had trained in the family dungeon and spoke glowingly of not only Brett, but his entire family. I see furious minutes of action unfolded between the two, each with near victories along the way. Blood, sweat, and tears was never more appropriate. The two gave their all on the goal of earning the WWE Intercontinental Championship. So get in there and do your best to beat Roddy Piper to the punch. But beating Hot Rod is no easy task, even if you are the best there is the best there was, or the best there ever will be. Heading into the match, the smart money was on Rock. Would Piper's desire to win and be champion override his desire to play fair? Could Hart use Piper's legendary temper as a constant exploit? Piper was already reverting to the man people knew him to be, and Hart was looking to exploit that fiery temper by embarrassing Piper as often as possible.
Piper continued to show glimpses of the old hot rod, but still understandably was not amused by this one bit. Piper slapped the taste out of Hart for gold bricking, as Bobby Heenan famously called it, and this once friendly competition was turning into the heated brawl many figured it would become. that trust by telling Brett his boot was untied and unloading a huge sucker punch. The gloves were off and the two were in a fight for survival. Hart wanted to use little tricks. Well, Piper just suckered him with the old, your shoes untied. A huge shot from Piper and it looks like the hitman may be busted open. 